Okay, CFIN 6, Chapter 7, Problem 2. Uh, Julie, or last year, Julie Johnson bought one share of common stock for $950. During the year, Julie received a $47.50 dividend. Earlier today, she sold the stock for $988. What rate of return did Julie earn on her investment? That's Part A, and we'll worry about Part B in a minute. So, um, the um, 950 is the uh, beginning price. We'll use P0. Then P1 for uh, the ending price, 988. And then our dividend is 47.50. So our um, formula for um, whatever you want to call it, holding period yield, yield, uh, ROR uh, uh, is uh, simply, use ROR, is P1 minus P0 plus D divided by P0. So the ending price minus the beginning price, and that's a D uh, for dividend. Uh, so add the dividend to add, um, this is uh, just this, exactly the same as what we did uh, in chapter uh, six for bonds and uh, previously so in this uh, in that case it would we'd have uh, the, the be ending minus beginning uh, and then we'd add a uh, coupon or interest payments and divide those by the beginning price so what does that look like? 988 minus 950 plus 47.50 divided by uh, <clears throat> 950. So should get 0 0.09 or 9%. So that's part A. Part B asked you for the capital gains yield so and the dividend yield so capital gains yield is just the this portion of the so the equation so we'll abbreviate c g y so that's going to be p1 minus p0 divided by p0 so ending price minus the beginning price divided by the beginning price so that's 988 minus 950 divided by 950. So that's 0 0.04, whoops, or 4%. So one thing to note here, the, uh, the capital gains yield and the dividend yield have to add up to the rate of return. So we could just say, well, we know that capital gains yield is 4% and the uh, rate of return, our yield is 9%. So then our um, dividend yield has to be 5%. But let's, uh, let's prove it to ourselves. Dividend yield is simply dividend divided by the beginning price. So that's our 47.50 divided by 9.50. So, um, so that's 0.05 or 5%. So we proved it to ourselves. So 5% uh, dividend yield plus 4% capital gain yield is equal to the 9% holding period yield or uh, rate of return, uh, again, all of those refer to the exact same thing.